Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to discuss the range bars and how we use them. This is the second part of the series. So if you've not watched the first part, you can go ahead and check it out my channel. Uh, it's called uh, How to Trade Using Range Bars, if I'm not wrong. So that is part one of the series. This is the second part of the series. Uh, what we discussed in that part was simply the range bars that we plotted uh, and we were using the Bank Nifty 5-minute charts and uh, we looked at how we can fade moves and even enter into uh, breakouts uh, that is we traded the aggression when we were taking uh, trades using breakout and we were fading the moves uh, when we were within the range so you can go ahead and check out that video what what we're going to discuss in this video is how we can use the range bars uh, in a footprint format so this is uh, a range bar i will just go ahead and firstly discuss what i have on my charts over here so on the right hand side uh, as usual what we have is the bank nifty chart uh, the five minute bank nifty chart along with it i have the volume profile uh, and over here in the middle i have the range charts uh, which is 160 ticks you can go ahead and select them as 160 ticks i will just go into why i have uh, selected this particular uh, tick size that is 160 so 160 ticks is uh, every eight point move so since our uh, i mean uh, the least tick size is five pesa so 160 into five is eight points all of these range bars are being plotted for every eight points so if you see for 416 to 414 or whatever this this is an eight point bar that is forming so the footprint is forming for every eight bars so whenever eight points i'm sorry so whenever uh, this range breaches another bar starts and then whenever an eight point breach happens to the downside or to the upside there is another one that takes place okay now uh, uh, this is the range bar and to the left extreme left what I have is a five minute chart for uh, this particular option the option that I have on is a call option for the 55 51,600 why because this is just in the money or you can say add the money or in the money so I prefer to trade uh, using uh, options that are in the money or add the money what happens is you get uh, your moves uh, accordingly I mean even even if you're buying or selling whatever you're doing what it does is if you're scalping it is always better to be in the money or at the money because it will give you the requisite points if, you, if you're out of the money the moves are a little uh, havered and uh, it doesn't coincide so uh, it is advisable or I rather I have uh, in my opinion found the footprint to work wonderfully well at uh, for at the money and in the money not that it doesn't work for out the money it does but the volumes are accumulated and the moves are uh, really I mean truncated and uh, I want good moves uh, at, in a short possible time when I'm scalping okay so that is why the reason uh, why I use uh, at the money or in the money now uh, the other thing if you are looking at how I have set these charts up again I've done a video an extensive videos rather two of them or three of them on how to set these charts up so there is nothing uh, too fancy about it you can go ahead and check those uh, videos if you're not if you're not uh, familiar with how to set up charts like this so uh, we're looking at a breakout we'll I just discuss uh, uh, so that we'll get into the market immediately because we nearing a good move uh, to the upside so uh, let me do one more thing so other thing that you can do is you can duplicate this panel and uh, i hope we don't miss the move and uh, what i'll do is i switch off the cluster why i'm doing this is so that i can get a good idea of what is happening in the markets at the moment so if you see uh, we have been in a range for a for some time now and the range is uh, so this is what i've discussed in the first part of the video so you can go ahead and check uh, that part so we are in this range now uh, that i've uh, drawn that range let us go ahead and expand this and uh, we'll just contract this car uh, this particular chart okay and we will see along with it okay so uh, we've drawn that part where we are in a range now i will go uh, and look at this five minute chart and on the bank nifty so what you see over here is we've been trying to break out of this zone and you see these three uh, zones so primarily there are a lot of buyers that have come in except this particular bar uh, where uh, sellers also did step in uh, i'm sorry this particular bar and the other two bars you can see a lot of uh, blues deltas getting formed here this is a four time this is happening and the market hasn't been able to break out so again uh, when you draw these range bars you can clearly see uh, why we are getting stuck and uh, why the market is fading and trapping so many traders uh, again and again uh, within this range so if you have to uh, look for a long trade okay uh, in the direction it is not uh, 
at this juncture that you look so what i'm trying to say is it is not between 430s and 435 is uh, where you look at a long at this place you should be looking for a short until unless you're proven wrong it crosses the 450 mark and uh, then uh, i mean you can look for a long uh, uh, not immediately what i prefer is when we're using footprint we have an advantage when we see the areas where aggression is coming in we can see the areas where absorption exhaustion uh, exhaustion is stepping in and we use that to our advantage so what we look for is when we break out we look for a pullback at uh, maybe to this zone or uh, to uh, an accumulation volume accumulation zone that is this cluster for example i will just let you know so in the last three bars what you're seeing is if you look at this these three bars uh, closely there is a volume cluster that is happening here so this is the advantage of a, a, a range bar where you see exactly uh, the moves where they're happening and why they're happening now now we've seen a breakout so now let's assume that you wanted to enter a trade into the long direction would you enter here no i wouldn't i would like it to come at least till this point 437 uh, if it goes it's fine because what i have noticed in the past few uh, uh, not sessions uh, for today uh, at least what i've noticed is i will get this again so uh, it has broken out of that range now what i will look for is a pullback uh, if it creeps breaking at least to this uh, uh, you can see these imbalances forming even on the five minutes so now if i have to look for a, a trade what i will look for is uh, let's wait and see uh, this zone uh, at least okay if it doesn't happen we will just enter a trade aggressively so this is the zone where i'm looking to enter a trade that is 59 somewhere close to this zone okay this is our entry if you can enter at 59 or 60 okay this is our entry and what is our stop loss so uh, our stop loss is let's say 8 to 10 points of 449 okay so i have two places uh, two reasons why i entered here if you're proven wrong we will be entering back into the zone and we will be losing into the trade it's okay so uh, we've entered at 458 we are somewhere here and our stop loss was hardly 10 points and we what we're expecting is uh, at least so you've got your one is to one over here so you can see what i'm doing uh, i'm scalping and i'm doing fast and now what i'll do is i will shift my stop loss uh, let's wait i will rather trail my stop loss uh, below uh, this is a place i will just explain what we're doing let me get just get get done with the trade so we have reached one is to one i am hoping okay so now i'll step shift my stop loss to this place okay so we entered at this thing we've got one is to two now now i still uh, shift my stop loss here okay so i'm just drawing these lines so that uh, you get to know what i'm trying to do and why i'm trying to do it okay again and now i will uh, wait and i'll shift my stop loss here so my stop loss is at 481 okay and probably i will go out of the move okay so uh, now we'll get into why we took this trade so it was a very good uh, uh, i mean it's good that we just got to see the market breaking out and we got a, a trade in our direction so that from now i will just explain why i entered the trade uh, and what was i thinking when i entered the trade so i'll just take out everything before we move ahead so what we got was from 458 to 481 this was about uh, let's say less than 25 26 points so it was about one is to 2.5 uh, is what we're expecting in markets like these because they're moving uh, quite fast so let me just take out these lines and then i will explain what i wanted uh, what i was trying to get at and what i was doing and why i was doing it okay so we leave this 458 and this 449 uh, because these were were our entry points and stop losses before we forget okay so uh, now let's get into it the idea behind the trade so the first thing that we were waiting for is either a fade move when it approaches this red zone which we drew uh, from the zones that were coming from behind and uh, if it was to break out like i said i would like to make for a wait for a pullback and it came exactly to the point of the pullback uh, now people would ask why i didn't wait for the uh, pullback over here uh, rather uh, why i uh, got i mean why i entered early rather so it was because i saw on a five minute chart as well i saw a good volume cluster that was around this zone 458 i saw an imbalance that was formed on this range chart uh, around this zone okay and uh, why actually the stop loss would have been just below this somewhere here okay why was the stop loss here because i uh, there was a breakout from this zone uh, from this volume cluster after which i saw an imbalance happening so if this this was to breach uh, this imbalance uh, again uh, it would have gone down because the buyers that would have entered or rather entered at this point uh, 
they should defend this zone so uh, as other the other smart move would have been to wait for the market to test this uh, imbalance zone that is also okay but sometimes what the market does is when it is this fast uh, it comes only to the previous uh, i mean volume cluster some somewhere here it did break down of this it came right up to this point so that is why uh, to be on the safe side or to be uh, uh, I mean to be assured that I had entered uh, properly uh, what I did I placed the stop loss not only below this zone but below the uh, volume cluster that was just below it because uh, most probably the, the buyers that were aggre uh, showing aggression were uh, had come in from uh, this point or maybe before that but they did show their aggression even after this when we saw this buy imbalance happening so this is getting deeper into the footprint charts and uh, after that uh, the move uh, went up now the next question that a lot of people uh, would generally ask is how would you deciding to trail your stop losses the way you were doing it it was after i got my one is to one let's say uh, after i got 469 or 470 over here now i was looking for a point uh, where if the market continued i wouldn't get stopped out easily so uh, if you see this uh, move to the pullback move to the downside uh, the areas for importance for me were one was this area okay why because the market moved down from this cluster if you see two to one six contracts 853 so a lot of buyers was sort of trapped here the other place was this uh, i will just draw another zone over here was this zone if you look at this bar uh, why this zone because you see uh, a selling rush, uh, aggression that had come to the downside so when the market uh, did take support of this point and it started moving in the direction so uh, if you wanted to move uh, let's say your stop loss to break even this was a great point to uh, get your stop loss uh, to break even that is 457 again why you see a volume cluster over here and a buy imbalance so if this breaks it will go down further uh, so you could have shifted your stop loss to break even uh, by break even i mean uh, somewhat two points lower than the break even point somewhat close to 457 and when the market uh, you see uh, over here you see this bar but if you've seen uh, if you were uh, observing when we were in the trade when we were discussing the trade you would have noticed that the market did take a sort of a, a pullback from this zone where this uh, selling came in so obviously whoever was uh, short here tried to defend of uh, by some sort but it failed and the market move up so I moved my stop loss to uh, trail my stop loss to this point. You can see the market took a pullback over here. And then after that, we trailed it somewhere close to 481, if I'm not wrong. And uh, we got our stop loss got triggered. Now, if you look at these zones, okay, that are coming up. And if you look at the range that was forming here. So uh, now the range has formed over here. You can look over here. And if it hadn't formed, you already had these zones marked. Why? Because we're looking at the footprint, range bar footprints. And we, we knew that this is a zone where the market is likely to take resistance. So even if you've not entered at 458, this was a great point. If you were trying to be even more aggressive and your stop loss again would have been 10 to 12 points, depending on uh, what you like. So these range bars also help you to uh, define your stop loss uh, quite effectively so what i mean by that is one range bar is eight points so uh, let's see for example uh, this is not a, i mean an idea over here i'm just discussing a part uh, what i'm discussing is you again seen a buy imbalance of sorts over here and uh, this is a sort of it is not exactly a a, a, a zone that i'm looking to trade off because uh, there is a difference if you look at it there is a difference between this zone and uh, the zone above and that is why you see the market break down now again this is a zone uh, which i can see on this chart uh, that the market will try to take a support of again uh, i do not know but uh, you can play it out if you're looking simply at price action of the range bars if i look uh, only at the uh, footprint chart i uh, at this point maybe i wouldn't be that sure uh, because i want to see some confirmation on the footprint chart as well so i would be more comfortable uh, let's say uh, let's just delete this okay and see that is what has happened it is broken down even if you, if you were simply looking at the price action over here it it wouldn't have paid you uh, over there so what i'm looking at i'll just delete this as well i would rather trade a, a, a footprint uh, support or resistance now if you look at it uh, this is a good point uh, just let me this thing 
okay contract so it came down to this region and now again it is broken uh, out again it wouldn't have given us a good uh, entry because we would have been late because i would have been looking for this range if i would have been looking to go long again this is the range i would have been uh, looking to go long because i have two three uh, reasons for doing so because if you expand this you can see uh, sort of uh, sellers getting trapped here a sell imbalance of sorts forming here another one forming here there was a pullback to the zone and it moved up from this direction so the buyers that have stepped in here would likely step in back again so although they've stepped in back uh, step back in earlier than what expected but i would i'm ready to lose or i'm ready to rather not enter the enter the trades if they're not touching my points that is why we use footprints for exact precise entries and that is how we can have small uh, stop losses as small as 10 points in bank nifty options uh, that to in the money and at the money options so it is because we will wait for our uh, trigger points now let's assume uh, looking at this chart and looking at this chart let's assume although i wouldn't like to go short but let's assume you were looking to go short so uh, what is your point uh, if you look at a five minute chart this is one point okay somewhere between 507 and 508 510 if you look in the range bar this is one point okay so uh, if if I, for example i am not looking to go short but if someone for someone who is aggressive super aggressive this is the point okay so this is the point you would like to go short okay 507 to 510 your stop loss would be uh let's say just above this so 520 so 510 if you enter uh, let's say 510 10 12 13 points and you've got your one is to one already over here so i was again i wouldn't have entered this trend although it has given one is to one the reason being we are in an uptrend the range bar is certainly showing uh, the range bars is certainly showing a, a pullback the other thing that we have is yesterday's high that can be breached so although you would have got a one is to one it is not a trade i am looking to enter but i am just bringing this out to you uh, it's because for people who are planning to enter a long let's say over here so why you should enter long because there is most likely going to be a pullback like this so that is why you should wait for your proper entries and uh, Again, if we get an entry somewhere close to 475, we'll look for an entry, but it is taking uh, now support from this zone that we drew earlier. Okay, so having said all this, uh, hopefully you were able to understand how uh, how to trade using range bars as well as the five minute chart. Uh, we didn't discuss or we didn't uh, actually look at the five minute bars when we were discussing a trade idea. We're looking at the range bars as well, but you can of course use this. I use this extensively to get a holistic view get a holistic view for for example sometimes what happens we are too uh, engrossed into the range bars and we're missing the bigger picture that is happening on a five minute bar or let's say or a 15 minute bar so that is why i prefer to have everything on and get a perfect idea sometimes it might look uh, overwhelming to you uh, these charts that we just discussed but uh, with practice you will get to know uh, what to look for so what to look for is quite simple if you keep the footprint charts and your uh, i mean strategy simple what we're looking for is imbalances and uh, volume clusters that is it that is all we're looking for and now we have to find areas where we can enter uh, with the minimum of risk and the uh, ability to get the maximum or rather the not the ability but the probability to get the maximum reward for it so uh, when you're looking to scalp uh, this small that is uh, one is to i mean sorry eight to ten points is stop loss what you should at least expect is 15 points or 20 points because the eight points uh generally uh, will go out uh, like a flash if you if you've seen uh, the markets moving these days so 10 to 12 points when you keep a stop loss it should always be uh i mean against at least 20 points 15 to 20 points so that uh even if you have 50 50 of the trades working you are uh, profitable at the end of the day so uh, hopefully uh, this video was of uh, some help to you guys and uh, uh, if you have any questions you can certainly leave them in the comment section until next time guys thank you bye bye